Good morning. My name is Stanley Brown. I'm the Dean of the Dalalana School of Public Health. We have a very exciting announcement this morning. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody. And thank you for joining us. At this point, I'd also like to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and most recently, the Mississaugas of the Credit River. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. So today, we have a number of dignitaries with us, and I'm honoured that we are joined by the University of Toronto President, Merrick Gertland. We also have the Honourable Christine Elliott, Deputy Premier of Ontario and Minister of Health, and representing the Centre for Vaccine Preventable Diseases, we have Assistant Professor Shaza Fadel. I know we are all eager to hear about this exciting announcement that has brought us together this morning. So without further delay, I'd like to introduce the University of Toronto's President, Merrick Gertler. Thank you, Dean Brown, and good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. As you know, this is National Immunization Awareness Week. In 2021, the significance of this annual observance is especially clear. As we reflect on the profound suffering and loss of life due to COVID-19 over the past year, we also celebrate the astonishing progress that's been made toward ending the pandemic through vaccine research and development. And having witnessed that progress, we're reminded that vaccines are the product of extensive collaboration in every phase from the research lab to the public health clinic. Few companies understand all of this better than Merck Canada. For more than a century, Merck has been at the forefront of vaccine research and development, creating products to prevent illness and death from now rare diseases such as measles and mumps to diseases only recently considered preventable, such as shingles and cervical cancer. These accomplishments have been made possible by Merck's belief in working together and knowledge sharing among researchers, innovators, and the general public. The University of Toronto shares this belief in open collaboration. It's been a key factor in our own contributions to public health and vaccine science. From global pioneers such as John G. Fitzgerald and Leona Farrell of the Connaught Laboratories, to today's world-leading U of T researchers in a wide range of related fields. Indeed, Merck and U of T are well-matched. And so today I am pleased to announce a generous gift in support of our new Center of Excellence in Vaccine Science. Merck Canada has made a $3 million investment to support the Center for Vaccine Preventable Diseases at the Dalai Lama School of Public Health. Established in 2020, the Center is a multidisciplinary group of researchers from across U of T, working with educators and public health advocates. Its vision is to catalyze cutting edge research and education to maximize the health benefits of vaccines for everyone. To realize that vision, it aims to address gaps in the science of immunization and promote an evidence-based understanding of vaccines among key stakeholders and the general public. These are important and timely goals in light of the vaccine hesitancy we continue to encounter despite a series of remarkable breakthroughs in this regard. Vaccination continues to be one of humanity's most powerful means of preventing disease. Merck Canada's gift will help us to harness fully the power of vaccine science and ultimately to protect the health of our fellow Canadians and people around the world. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Dean Staney Brown and the Dal Alana School of Public Health for their leadership in realizing this vision. I'd also like to thank the Temerty Faculty of Medicine, the Lawrence S. Bloomberg Faculty of Nursing, the Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy, and the Factor Imuntosh Faculty of Social Work for their collaboration in this important initiative. Most of all, on behalf of the entire University of Toronto, I'd like to thank the leadership team at Burke Canada for their commitment to vaccine science and public health. Your contribution to our common cause will make a difference for decades to come. Thank you, everyone. Hello, everyone. I'm Christine Elliott, Ontario's Deputy Premier and Minister of Health. I would like to extend my sincere thanks to Merck Canada for your incredible generosity and support in building healthier and safer communities. Your gift to the University of Toronto's Centre for Vaccine Preventable Diseases at the Dalla Lana School of Public Health 
will have a tremendous impact on the advancement of vaccine science in Ontario. Since the Centre for Vaccine Preventable Diseases was launched in 2019, the Centre has worked hard to increase vaccine confidence and has played an important role in encouraging COVID-19 vaccinations. Now, more than ever, as we celebrate National Immunization Awareness Week and continue to roll out COVID-19 vaccines across the province, we recognize the need for education on vaccines and the importance of promoting the benefits of immunization. Through this strategic investment, you are helping to protect the health and safety of Ontarians now and in the future. The University of Toronto's Immunization Innovation Initiative will bring together researchers from diverse health science fields to collaborate on scientific projects that are most urgently needed. So thank you for coming together on this initiative and investing in not just our current capabilities, but also the future of our healthcare system. Our government is proud to support research and innovative partnerships like yours, and we look forward to seeing your accomplishments in the future. Thank you. Thank you for those remarks and your support, Deputy Premier Elliott. I'm Sheza Fadl, an assistant professor at the Dalai Lama School of Public Health and Director of Operations at the Centre for Vaccine Preventable Diseases. At the Centre, our research priority themes are four. Vaccine hesitancy, immunity and community protection, value and impact of vaccines, as well as ethics and global governance. We recognize the complex challenges of protecting populations from these diseases, and we are committed to understanding these challenges and being part of the solution. As the COVID-19 pandemic has made it clear, in Canada, we need to continue to train researchers and enable expert scientists to find ways to develop and improve vaccines, to utilize innovative and scalable approaches to measuring immunogenicity, safety and effectiveness of these vaccines in populations locally and globally, and to evaluate whether these vaccines as public goods are delivered within programs that leave no one behind. Equity and collaborative research are essential values at each stage of the research from development to evaluations and populations. On behalf of the Center, I'm delighted to be part of this event today. And now back to you, Dean Brown. Thank you very much for those remarks, uh, Minister Elliott, uh, Professors Gertler and, and Fidel. And thank you for highlighting the world leading role of this university. And specifically, our public health professors have played in eradicating some of the worst diseases humanity has ever known. The Dalai Lama School of Public Health is young, but we do stand on the shoulders of giants. Our deep roots working for the public good have given us a sturdy foundation as we grow to face the challenges of our era. And it's a responsibility that we feel enormously right now, uh, particularly given the pandemic. And it's a legacy that inspires us with deep pride. Our school is growing quickly to meet the challenges of an expanding and aging population and the continued threats to our public health and our healthcare systems. The urgent need to understand the fundamental role that equity plays in public health and the importance of incorporating a true understanding of the impacts of climate change and other global threats on health care and public health. To accomplish these ambitious goals, we rely on the generous contributions of government, industry and donors. And today's funding announcement is the perfect example of that. I wish to thank Merck Canada for its vision and choosing to help fund the Dalai Lama School of Public Health and our Center for Vaccine Preventable Diseases. Vaccine science is perhaps the single most important tool of public health at hand these days. And I'm grateful that uh, stakeholders like Merck Canada understand the role that universities play in advancing it uh, and that you're here working to help us uh, strengthen that role. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Anna Van Acker, the President and Managing Director of Merck Canada. Uh, Anna has more than 25 years of experience with Merck in a wide range of portfolios. She's worked with governments across Europe and throughout the world to improve health indicators and ensure access to innovative drugs. I'm very pleased to hand the voting over to you, Anna. Thank you very much, uh, Dean Brown, and good morning, everyone. Uh, Minister Elliott, Professors Gertler and Fadur. I'm very, very proud to be here today in support of this exceptionally important initiative 
to advance vaccine science and to support immunization in Ontario. And as was mentioned earlier, we have a shared belief amongst all of us that open, trusted collaborations such as this one are critical to keep Ontarians and Canadians informed and healthy. So we often say that vaccines are actually a victim of their own success, as we have simply forgotten how vaccine preventable diseases used to cause long term illnesses, hospitalizations or even death. And ironically, until a year ago, vaccines were not a frequent topic of conversation. But today, with the pandemic affecting all of our lives, Obviously, everyone is talking about vaccination, hoping that this will be the solution that will stop COVID-19 spread and help all of us back to a normal life. It's even a very common topic, and I'm sure you're all used to that now, to ask were you already vaccinated or which vaccine did you get? So the pandemic has shown a huge light on the value of immunization in public health, but also on its value for families, for communities, and for the most vulnerable uh, amongst us in our society. But at the same time, it has also elevated the long time issue which we have encountered of vaccine hesitancy. So today, Merck Canada is very pleased to announce our important innovative collaboration with the Dalalana School of Public Health to better understand that important issue of vaccine hesitancy and to look into what causes it and to turn to help with education education of our communities so that people are better informed by credible, scientific, evidence-based, and hopefully also understandable information when making decisions about their health and about immunization. Now, the tremendous promise offered by vaccines is much too precious for us not to do so and not to get engaged. Uh, and especially as we are celebrating National Immunization Awareness Week. It's the right time to remember what we have forgot and to reflect back on the value of what have become our routine immunizations and how they have significantly reduced illness, death, and the spread of diseases in Ontario, in Canada, and around the world. It was the great Nelson Mandela that once said, and he said it perfectly on the value of vaccines. He said, immunization has been a great public health success story. The lives of millions of children have been saved. Millions have the chance of a longer, healthier life, a greater chance to learn, to play, to read and write, to move around freely without suffering. And if we unpack that a little bit further and look at the concrete examples, well, firstly, and it was already mentioned, uh, from polio to smallpox to measles to shingles to a myriad of other diseases, they were all either kept at bay or essentially eliminated. So vaccines have helped over and over to address those diseases that potentially can be prevented and keep pe uh, people healthy. Now, secondly, today we also know that improving health outcomes of our communities can have a positive effect on economic and societal context. For example, through longer working hours, higher productivity, improved educational outcomes, social inclusion, and reduced healthcare costs. The benefits have a far reaching impact on our collective well being. And Merck has a strong and proud legacy in the discovery, the development, the delivery of effective vaccines. And we can all think about the tremendous value of the prevention of HPV or think of the Ebola vaccine, specifically because it was the result of a collaboration with our own Canadian public health researcher. researchers. Uh, and that's something we can truly be very proud of. So at Merck, we continue that research, always guided by the science, 
and fueled by a desire to improve the human condition by changing life expectancy and by ultimately changing the outlook for the world. So that's why we are very proud to support this important work of the Dalai Lama Lana School of Public Health and their vision of becoming a global hub for expertise in vaccine science. We are honored to be partnering with them, the University of Toronto Centre for Vaccine Preventable Diseases and the Government of Ontario. And this collaboration is a true testament of how key players in life science sectors, but must come together in a context of trust and expertise and to achieve our common goal of ensuring that Canadians stay healthy in the face of preventable diseases. So let me end by a very recent quote from Ezekiel Emmanuel, who sits on the COVID-19 advisory board in the US. And he says, vaccines are the most cost-effective healthcare interventions there are. A dollar spent on a childhood vaccination, for example, not only helps save a life, but greatly reduces spending on future healthcare. So with this, thank you very much for your kind attention and my congratulations to all involved. Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind and, and thoughtful words. And thank you once again for your generous funding that will support the Donald Alana School of Public Health and our Center for Vaccine Preventable Diseases. And thank you to everyone attending our program this morning, including University of Toronto President Merrick Gertler, uh, Minister Christine Elliott, uh, Professor uh, Shaza Fidel. And with this uh, and my thanks once again, we'll conclude the program. Uh, goodbye, everyone, and stay safe. <laughs>